detailing, dimensioning in 3D. Okay, well, we're going to be dimensioning in 3D. That's really describing what we're going to do. Dimension in 3D. So add dimensions in, in 3D. Let's go to our 3D detail. And this is found under Sheets and then A4 section in detail. Just double click on that. And then here it is right here. So let's just zoom into this, right click and activate the view. Okay, so we can dimension on this. We just have to set the planes. That's really the main thing. We've talked a little bit about this throughout the course, but let's do another review. So I'm going to go to Architecture and click on Set. And wherever you set the plane, that's where the dimension is going to be. So if I click on Pick Plane, then click on OK, I'm just going to pick the front of this mullion. So you need to pick an object or face of an object. So now I'm going to go to Annotate, just Aligned. And notice where I can now dimension, from there to there. And notice where the dimension shows up? Right on that face. OK, I don't like the 0 foot 5 thing, but we'll fix that in a second. Notice where it shows up? It's all on that plane. If I go to Architecture and then click on Show Plane, you can see that's the plane right there. And that's where we're dimensioning on right now. OK, just a little segue. Let's click on this dimension. And let's see if we have our own style here. There we go. So let's click on that. And let's use our Acme Dim one. There we go, a lot nicer. OK, and we can adjust it. Just want to get that extension line down. Sometimes this can be a little tricky. There we go. OK, got it. OK, well, what if we wanted to mention more out here? Well, we'd have to set our plane more out here. When you section box through something, you can't pick one of those faces as a plane. It's not a plane. You're just sectioning through it. It's a visual representation. That right there is a plane, but that's about it. That's the only one I could find. So if I click on Set, pick a plane. You can also use established planes like levels or grid lines or something like that. But I'll go with pick a plane, click on OK, and then I'll just click on the front of that. Good. OK, so when I go to Annotate, Aligned, we can pick, let's say the front of this. Maybe we want to get a complete depth of this whole unit right here. So we'll go from there to there. Now notice where this is going to be. And I'm also just going to change that one to my Acme Dim 1. But notice where that line is going. Just click right there. You can see that it's actually lined up with the front of that. It's getting the right faces. It's just that's where the dimension is. OK, we can do another one or two based upon that plane. So we'll go to Aligned. And then I could pick maybe the underside of that to that. OK, so that's six inches. And then from there to there, that's a foot. Maybe some actual dinosaurs are going to be walking across here. It's so thick concrete. But anyway, that's OK. We'll live with it. OK, so then there's our dimensioning. So you can do that in any orthographic 3D view. You can dimension. And just before we're done here, just a good idea when you're starting to detail a 3D view like this, you're going to want to lock the view. So if I click on this button right here, it will save orientation and lock view. So just in case if someone tried orbiting around, not going to happen. OK, so that's good. Let's leave it at that. We can right click, deactivate the view, and then save what we've done. Application menu, and then close. And that concludes this lesson.